just me, your friendly neighborhood Walter Shepard. Uh, nothing really serious right now. I'm just uh, continuing to wait on the Lord in, uh, <clears throat> in more than one way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, waiting on his eventual return. Uh, waiting for the day of rapture. Expecting it at any time. But also, um, am willing to or am prepared to wait, mentally prepared to wait. <laughs> uh, it could be another year. It could be another two years. It could be another ten years. We have no idea exactly when. Um, we just got to keep uh, being patient and keep waiting and watching for the signs. The signs are all out there. Um, it's going to be happening soon. Uh, we just don't know when. But it's up to us to do what we can with the resources that we have in order to um, encourage our fellow servants and, uh, and be a help out there in the world. And um, for all you new subscribers um, that have uh, tuned into this channel, I would imagine by the way the numbers fluctuate, uh, sometimes they go up when I post a certain kind of video. And then sometimes they go down when I post a certain kind of video, which says to me that a lot of people that subscribe to this channel are in it just for the end times. They're just in it to hear about the rapture or the tribulation or some of the darker side of prophecy. And that's fine. If the Lord has called you to do that, um, great, uh, more power to you. But this particular channel... Um, although it does touch on, on end times prophecy, it also touches on um, a little further into the future, and that being the thousand years of peace. And it also touches on um, the era um, after that, after the thousand years of peace, after Judgment Day, when uh, God moves the heavenly city onto the earth. Um, I've touched on that too. I've had many visions about the thousand years of peace and the times that come after that. And I've posted videos about that too. But again, this channel is not just about um, the thousand years of peace or future prophecy or end times prophecy. Um, I believe that the Lord has given me a, a balance in my life. That, and that's reflected in this particular channel. Uh, because you've noticed um, I'm not always doing talking heads. Um, I'm not always doing uh, music videos or uh, text videos. Um, I kind of switch between them all. Again, for me personally, I'm, I'm led by the Spirit. I, I, I can only do what I feel the Holy Spirit is um, encouraging me to do. Um, there's been many times when I've wanted to post a video or make a video about something that I felt um, would be neat for other people to hear but the Holy Spirit restrains me, keeps me from doing that. And so you don't see those videos. But I believe that in my life and on this channel, the Lord has um, shown me how to find that balance. The balance between um, thinking about the past, that is, the Word of God, because from Adam and Eve onward, that's all history, and that's all in the past. And because it is the Word of God, the Lord wants us to know that. He wants us to read the Bible. Um, all of it, um, about the past, about uh, our Heavenly Father, about Jesus, about the other servants out there, about the prophets out there. And um, reading the New Testament, um, that gives you a good balance on how to live your life in the here and now. And I believe the Lord has given me that. I have my own personal dysfunctions in real life. Uh, I've been going through... Um, I've been going through something new over the past uh, 15 months now. Something that I've never experienced before in my life. And I'll get into that in another video, in a confession video. Uh, but right now, um, the real life that the Lord has taught me to balance um, 
comes out uh, in 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 what I produce um, for this channel. Sometimes I'm, in, I'm I'm encouraging other people to uh, to just wait for the Lord. Sometimes I'm encouraging them by um, sharing what the Lord has uh, showed me about the future, the thousand years of peace, and whatnot. And sometimes um, I just express myself. Um, the songs and the music videos that I post here, I post them to share them because lyrically they are meaningful. They're very encouraging to me, and I believe they'll be uh, very encouraging um, to my fellow servants out there. Because um, with the uh, Christian music that I post, um, some of it is praise and worship, and, and, and that's great. I believe all Christians should, at some point in their life, um, even if they're by themselves, or especially when, uh, when they're by themselves, is get into a spirit of worship. Um, just forget the world, forget everything else, put on some music, and just sing the lyrics. It's just between you and your Heavenly Father. It's just between you and Jesus, you and the Spirit. Just express yourself one-on-one -on -one, um, in the form of music. And that comes with worship and praise music, because that's all dedicated to the Lord. It's all about the Lord. But then there's the other kind of Christian music, the uh, inspirational music, the uh, social commentary music that all comes from our, our fellow servants in the Lord. Um, all the videos that I've been posting over the past couple of weeks, <coughs> lyrically, they've helped me get through what I've been going through over the past uh, two months, I think in December. Um, things really started to uh, come down in my life and... Uh, and I've experienced things that I've never done before. I've never experienced before. I've never, I've never been a part of before. But it's both good and bad. But anyway, um, the music that I've been posting um, has helped me get through that. Um, my fellow servants, who uh, who produced the music, who wrote the music, who performed the music, who sang the music. Um, they did that. They're, they're sharing their life. They're sharing their relationship with the Lord. And the music that I've been posting, especially, um, I like because it, it paraphrases the Bible. Lyrically, um, the song's lyrics, they, um, they paraphrase the Bible. They say exactly what the Bible is saying, but they're put in the words of those individual artists. Those artists have gone through certain things in their lives, and so um, they express it. And because they know the Bible, um, the Holy Spirit allows them to express themselves, express their lives, but using, um, but using the Word of God. And so the music that I post, and that I've been posting for years now, um, some of it is praise and worship music, but most of it is um, inspirational, uh, encouraging encouragement music by our fellow servants out there who just want to express what's going on in their lives, what's going on in the world, um, how they get, get closer to the Lord, and whatever else. Um, again, uh, it's just a form of encouragement, um, lyrically, because um, they're, par they're paraphrasing the Bible. And um, I think that's about it for now. So I believe this channel, this channel does have a balance. Um, there's some end times, there's some future prophecy, there's some encouragement about the Bible itself, and there's some dealing with the real world now. Um, if, you are, if you subscribe to this channel and you want to hear only end times things or only, only um, tribulation things or rapture things, well, you'll, you'll find that once in a while. When the Holy Spirit puts it on my mind and on my heart to share something like that, then I will. But for the most part, um, I believe I, I've uh, found that balance that the Lord wants me to, between thinking about the future, thinking about the past, but dealing with the reality of the now and incorporating them all. There is a balance. Um, I don't believe or I feel Christians should not be focused entirely on end times things because uh, there is a woe. In the Old Testament about that. Um, woe to you who long for the day of the Lord. Woe to you who look forward um, to the final days, to the last days. Because they are not going to be nice. They are not going to be fun. And that is not something we should be wishing on anybody. We should be doing everything within our power to help encourage people to get to know the Lord so that they can avoid um, the tribulation period. 
So um, if you're looking just for end times prophecy things, um, you might want to go to other channels or just be patient until something comes up. Um, I would be addressing this particular um, sentence to um, <clears throat> the Christians that are into just end times things, but they've unsubscribed. Um, I, I put on a music video and um, they say, oh, this isn't end times things. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to unsubscribe. But that's, that's their deal. Um, they, they've got to answer to the Lord just like we all do. And uh, we all have to be responsible with what the Lord has given us and with what the Holy Spirit is bringing us through, whatever it may be in our lives. Uh, we've all got uh, we've all got certain skills and talents, and we've all got a specific relationship with the Lord. And we all have our duties to be spreading the gospel, to be encouraging one another, and to uh, to be God's hands and feet out there in the world, to to be a help to the people around us, and to rely on the Lord and to seek Him when we go through periods in our lives where. We just want we just want nothing to do with the world. We just want nothing to do with anything. <sighs> but I'm coming out of that stage now, and I'll get into more detail later. But for now, um, this channel is about balance. Um, I encourage people to read the entire Bible, not just their favorite verses, not just end times prophecy things, but the entire Bible, um, the Old Testament and the New Testament and everything, because it's the Word of God, and God wants us to know it. And I encourage my fellow servants to um, to stay in prayer, to pray, for, to pray for others. And I think this is the first time, the first message that I've been encouraging my fellow servants to get into worship, um, praise and worship. Find a praise and worship song um, that is specifically praise and worship song, and just spend your time one on one on one singing with the Lord. If you've ever been in a um, large church or even a medium-sized church, or even a well-meaning small church, where people are singing um, their, 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 their hearts out. Um, they're expressing their love to the Lord, one-on-one -on -one to the Lord. And if you've been in a, um, a stadium or a coliseum where there's thousands and thousands of people hearing praise and worship like that, it's just simply amazing. It, you can feel everything because of all the voices around you. It's amazing. And I encourage anyone out there who has not gotten into um, singing to the Lord, singing with the Lord, um, singing with your fellow servants, uh, all the Christian music out there that um, is so excellent too. Um, and once your heart is geared towards expressing yourself to the Lord, um, that just deepens your relationship with Him. It brings you to a new level, a, a new level of intimacy with Him. It's just um, praising and worshiping the Lord. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, that's about this channel. Um, I believe, um, I hope, I believe, uh, or I hope I have discovered um, a balance that I think all believers need. Uh, we need to be out in the world. Uh, we need to be encouraging it. To, each other, to be one-on-one -on -one with the um, with the Lord um, through prayer and through worship as well. So that's it um, for now. Um, uh, I guess I guess that's it. I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing and getting out of this particular phase in my life, relying on the Lord until the next stage comes. And hopefully, the rapture will here will be here sooner rather than later, or before too long. Um, if you've been a part of this channel for over a year, you will know that a year ago I posted something specifically. And I believe um, that the Lord will be here soon. Very soon. I mean, like, really soon. But again, we'll see. Um, if that dream comes to pass, then I'll know that um, the Holy Spirit is speaking through me. And if that dream does not come to pass, then I will be questioning myself. Not questioning the Lord, but questioning my own mentality. Whether or not my dreams are just wishful thinking, or whether or not my dreams are subconsciously controlled by my conscious mind, or, uh, or just what the heck's going on. But we'll find out uh, in a couple of weeks for sure. So anyway, that's it. Um, take care. Stay in prayer. Um, Jesus will be here sooner rather than later. Uh, we'll see you in his kingdom somewhere over there, 
or maybe even somewhere up in the air. All right, um, talk to you later. Remember, Jesus rules. Oh.